G'day guys, Troy from FM Live, and I hope your Christmas and your New Year's has gone well. I hope you're looking forward to nothing else to do but play FM all year. So today, like many others, I have a tips and tricks video. Today is going to be about scouting. So what we're going to go through today on scouting is the scout recommendations. What does all, uh, what does all mean? How do they get to that number out of 100? Um, we'll also be looking at some filters and preferences that you should look at um, when going through your scouting list or your scouting reports. Um, also, the scout priorities, which I think a lot of people don't look out for. Um, a lot of scouts suppress pressed for time, I feel, in the last couple of FMs. Uh, press for time, so we'd want to have a look at their priorities. Uh, also, we're going to have a look at um, the assignments, how to set up an assignment. Um, that's pretty basic for a lot of the, the players out there, I do know. Uh, but we'll go through that and go through what I do and how I um, how I like to approach things uh, in different types of saves. Um, um, also, after that, we'll go through the general player searching, uh, knowledge levels and how do you get uh, how do you increase that knowledge and also the different packages there are in um, Football Manager. Okay, so let's kick it off and let's have a look at those scouting recommendations. So we're straight on the scouting screen. This is just a personal save that I had in the beta. Haven't touched it since, but it's all it's still set up to how I was doing things. Um, so at the time I was looking for players that are under the age of 21 to 15, English players. Brexit has been a bitch this year, so uh, we really wanted to uh, just have a look at some of these players and try to get the best players in as early as possible. So when looking at players, obviously we all know, or we should know, what the ability, the potential ability, um, different statuses like his media um, description. We want one to kids if possible, but we also, um, there's another thing that a lot of us don't quite understand how these uh, players get these certain scores. That is the scout recommendation, which you can see here. So that's from basically one to 100. So with that overall score for the for the recommendation from the scouts, it uh, will depend on certain things. Like for an example, the club you're at, what type of uh, position you are in the league, what league you're in, um, that'll give you different scores. Uh, lower if you're you know at the higher kind of levels of football. Um, so if we have an example for a player like Reese James, for example, he is his score at the moment is at 65. Now keep in mind, is the knowledge level from my scouts are only at 84% at the moment. I do highly recommend, especially if you are looking to sign a player, to look at him with 100% full knowledge, and that'll give you a better indication. We'll go through that in a second as well. So to get that overall score of, for an example, at the moment, 65 for Reese James, um, it comes, it determines on the, the player's price, so how much is um, it's going to cost you to pry him away from Chelsea. Uh, maybe the wage wage demands as well, is he a... Uh, are we going to have to pay him a high wage? Um, and also the two big things, which is going to be your current ability and your potential ability, which you will get an indication when you do get a clear indication of his star rating. But there is another aspect of getting that score in, which I do find a lot of players probably uh, overlook or not really look at all too carefully. So if we click on Reese James here and have a look at his um, co his, his coaching report, scouting report, sorry, um, and the recommendation, as we know, 65, and it's only at an 84% level. Um, so we when we can have a look at the pros and cons, there aren't too many, well, there's not many cons at all. Um, the strengths or the pros are pretty good professional personality. Um, that's you know there's a couple attributes there that we can look at in a different screen uh, versatility so it is a little bit versatile so you can play in a couple of different positions and you can learn different positions pretty fast um, but the areas that haven't been um, haven't been scouted as yet if you click on or just hover over this box so six areas are yet to be assessed so if we have a look at that his adaptability if he was coming from uh, you know outside of England or outside the play you are managing in um, you'll want that adaptability to be a little bit higher or high if you if you can get it uh, that'll mean he'll draw back in drill into a new country faster important matches which is a really big one consistency another really big one and injury proneness another massive one so we don't quite know exactly those kind of score ratings so that will either bring down his score of 65 or you could increase the score from 65 into a higher score so if your scouts have come to you with a, with a player and you have a look at his attributes and he looks red hot and he, the scout recommendations are only at a lower number maybe just have a look at those pros and cons and see if there's areas in the game where you probably want to avoid him um you know, as I said, those big ones, really big ones that, um, you know, performs well in important matches, he's consistent and that injury prone. So you don't want the injury prone and you definitely want consistency and uh, plays well in big matches. Um, so those are things you want to look out for. And don't just, you can have a look at the scout recommendations. You don't always have to go with them and, you know, if they're at a high score, but do have a look at those um, pros and cons if they do have a lower recommendation score. 
All right, so let's flick it over to the main screen that you hit uh, when you first uh, click on the scouting tab is uh, your main scouting center. So this will typically give you a couple of player cards uh, and you can skim through. There's a couple on this, say for the moment, there's only two other player cards uh, behind Lindsay Coleman. Um, and then you can action certain things at the bottom. You can acknowledge, you can discard the player. You don't want to see him uh, for a while. Uh, you can continue scouting the player, offer him all that good stuff. Um, but when we have a look at Lindsay Coleman, really good player, um, 73 rating. So there's something in the game, uh, something in his game that's uh my scouts are telling me maybe look out for if we have a look and this is why it always gives you gives you his scouting report in, in his pros and cons as the first screen is uh, we can see a con is a fairly susceptible to injuries uh, not always a, a case where you, you want to avoid him completely but it's something just to be mindful of all right, next off from this screen, because sometimes you get a lot of uh, a lot of cards throwing at you. So you can get, we've got two remaining, you can get 20, 30, whatever you got. Um, you can change this into list, um, into a list. So it's a little, maybe a little bit easier for you to read. And you can go through and action certain things uh, from this screen. Might be a little bit easier for you. For me, I like to have a look at indiv individual players because I feel I miss things if I'm having a look at a whole list. Um, but it's in the preferences that I want to go through. Um, so not in the preferences, we'll go through filters first. So there's a couple of things here that you can filter out. So say for example, um, you want a very high quality player. You only want to look at the highest quality players. The rest of them, you don't really care about. You can have a minimum recommendation level. So say for example, we wanted to really shoot for the stars and we want to aim for at least 80 or higher. So what I will do, it will weed out Plays like Lindsay Col uh I've been calling him Lindsay Coleman, um, Kingsley Coleman, um, they'll weed out players like this and only give you uh, plays in these cards that are recommended for 80 and above. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, also, things you can do is for plays like this, you can also send that or forward these cards straight to your inbox. Now, that was a big thing when this scouting kind of um, I want to call a scheme, this scouting screens come up, um, it was about two years ago, where it didn't give you that inbox um, inbox message. So you can forward these straight to your inbox if you want to. A couple of other things you can change from this, um, agent offers. A lot of times you don't want to see agent offers at all, really. Um, sometimes you want to see maybe just unattached players, maybe you don't want to see them. Yeah, there's a couple of things you can untick and um, you know just clean it up and so you're not looking at this screen not too often, but for too long, because a lot of stuff is just fluff. Um, free agent offers. So for agent off free agent offers, do you really want, uh, if you're Man, Man United having a look at 45-year-olds coming through? You probably don't. So you might want to drop that down. So say you want just the younger players. Free agents, maybe they've been let, let go by a couple of sides at you know 15 to 21. And then from there, you can go to advanced filters if you want. There's a whole lot of stuff here. I won't go through everything, uh, but you can change certain things like you've got potential top target. Um, definitely want to inbox that. So say that was just on the scouting screen, um, you definitely want to inbox kind of those those types of things. A couple other things, aspiring contract, uh, contract players, you probably want to inbox that to be honest. So there's a couple of things there that you might want to just have a look and just move where that information is going so you get to see it. All right, so the next thing that we look at is, uh, oh, we changed to another player, uh, is preferences. So you can change during the transfer window, outside the transfer window. So maybe during the transfer window, you want to get a lot of entries. Maybe you want to see 100 entries. You just want to have a look at as many players as possible to try to fill the gaps uh, gaps in your tactic, gaps, the gaps in your squad. Uh, outside the transfer, transfer window, uh, maybe you want to... Just have a look at a few, maybe just look at, have a look at five, 10, whatever it is. Um, also, we can have a look at the action button. So what do they do? So um, down here, we can do scout more or scout player. Um, with these preferences, it'll tell me, if I click on it right, it'll tell me what that kind of, what that does for you. So we want to scout him for one week. Do we want to scout him until full knowledge? Um, and so on and so forth. Um, with keep scouting, once again, probably just stick it on to full knowledge. You can scout him just for a couple more games. It depending on the scouts you've got is in terms of how long it takes him to get the full knowledge um, as well. For trial, offer to trial. Um, for a, a lower league save, this is a, a button that I hit a lot, the offer trial, and I'll trial, I'll try a list a lot of players. And what I like to do is I think one week is probably not enough. I normally try to do four weeks. So, so four, well, it's a save I've got at the moment with a, with a Scottish side is um, I'm getting a lot of trialists in, especially in the um, in the transfer, not transfer window, in the 
pre-season transfer window, um, I'm getting a lot of trollers in, so I'll click that on for four weeks. And then every time I then click onto this, it won't just offer a trial for one week, it will offer it for four weeks. So that might save you a bit of time, because other than that, then you've got to go in onto the player um, and then go to transfers and an offer trial. And it'll give you this little window, one week, blah, blah. That'll save you a little bit of time. There's a couple of clicks there that it might save you. All right, moving over to another Another thing that I think a lot of players don't look at, or I haven't seen a lot of players look at or talk about the screen, is up here when you have a look at assignments, you've got the normal assignments, assignments where you choose and you know set out your scouts and everyone loves that screen, um, but you've got the scout priorities. So what I feel is in, uh, in the last couple of football managers, it's been a long slog getting that full um, full knowledge on players. And it seems that those scouts can't spread themselves you know, too wide in scouting a lot of players. So if you're at a club with not a lot of scouts, you know, this Man United got 30 members, uh, the 30 uh, scouts, so there's a lot of lot of scouts. Um, but in a lot of teams you're playing with, they haven't got that option there. So you want to make sure the scouts that you've got at the club are scouting the right players for the right amount of, uh, right amount of time. So if we have a look at players that we want to scout or that we've, we're already scouting or we're in the, mid, in the middle of scouting these players, we can have a look at the recommendations. And if they're at the orange or below 60, they're going to be in orange. And maybe you, you just don't want to scout those players anymore. So there might be a scouting for here for Nathan, Nathan Wood. And maybe there's an already scout that's been looking at him, just going to continue to look, for him, look, look at him another couple of weeks. That's going to tie up that scout with Nathan Wood. But would I really, realistically sign him? Is he a good enough player? For my team, probably not. So what I would do is I would cancel his assignment. So if I cancel that assignment, he's gone off the list. We're not going to waste our time anymore. What I'll do typically is all the ones in orange, so all of them 60 below, is a lot, um, is go through all of them. You can highlight all of them and just cancel cancel their assignment. So what that does, then the ones that are on hold here, I don't know how good they are. There's no reports, there's no um, recommendations on these players at the moment. That'll then bump those forward. And then every week or so often, a couple of these players, I'm sure they won't be any good. Um, I'll come back and then do the same again, get rid of or uh, stop scouting a lot of these players um, until I've got players all in the green um, and then I'll continue scouting them. So you just want to make sure your scouts are in the right areas um, and for the right amount of time. Another thing we can have a look at is um, over in here, you can see the actual priority. So what number exactly their, their priority is. Um, it's like you're, you're ordering soup in a deli. Um, and also the progress, the progress remaining. So it's just finishing up, who's on hold. So that scouting report's on hold um, or they're going forward. So if there is someone that you want to scout urgently or something that's gonna be the main priority, um, say for example, we choose, yeah, you'll do. Um, we can actually prioritize this assignment. So he's at eight at the moment. He's gonna jump right up to first. So he's gonna be the number one priority for my scouts to have a look at. So whoever's in that area of where he's playing in Spain, um, he's gonna be the number one priority. So I wanna get his report in as fast as possible to know if I'm wasting my time to cut it or to get it to full knowledge. All right, the next thing we'll move over, move over to is assignments. So a lot of players, a lot of people know how to how to choose their own assignments. At the moment, I'm just res scout responsibility is with my chief scout. So we're going to take control um, of that so we can choose or actually send out scouts. Um, so I'll choose anyone. Um, we'll go over to you, scout assignment. Let's create a new assignment. So when we come to this screen, it looked the same, you know, pretty much for a while. A lot of players will, if they're playing the game for a, you know, a couple of months, they will know kind of how, how the screen works. So I'm not going to go through the intricate deca details on this. Um, but what I do recommend is not um, not widening the net too far. So don't go over to here um, and do a continent. Yep, yeah, let's go to Africa, son, and get me some players. It's going to be too widespread. And as I said to you, you know, at the start of the video, I think as scouts, they have a lot less time. Uh, so they, you know, they really need to, you really need to hone in on what they're doing and um, hone in on the areas they're trying to scout. So what I typically do these days is I will go to individual nations or competitions. Um, so just say, for example, we want to get Europe and we want to go to France. So I'll just go to France, maybe pick a couple of countries around that area just for him to scout. And then the duration we can do. I typically do a couple of months, depending on you know where we're at in the window, and then I'll revisit this as the year goes on. So we go over to two months. We we can have additional uh, conditioning. The only real additional conditioning I normally put on this is maybe his age, uh, especially if you want to scout for younger players. Sometimes his nationality 
once again, Brexit's been a bitch in this game. Um, so maybe you want to have a look at it. some English players. Uh, maybe there's a couple playing in France. I don't know. Um, the other thing that I do recommend is having a look at fits the tactic. Because if we're playing, for example, it is tactic. It's a 4-2-3-1. There's no defensive midfielders. There's no good this... Um, this scout going up and finding, you know, five defensive midfielders and that's it because we don't use them. Sure, we can retrain them and whatnot, but it'll be good just to have um, this scout looking for players that fit my tactic. So that is, you know, that's pretty much it. You can have a look at a player type, but yeah, I don't recommend, you know, fudd fuddling around for this too much and just press start and see you go. Um, so when it comes to, we'll go back over to that. So the assignments that will bring you, you can click onto these. Um, that's his previous assignment, if you didn't know. Um, when that assignments are set, because I've just wiped them all, um, it'll come up here. So you can click onto these ones and have a look at the, you know, the plays he's uh, scouted. Maybe he hasn't scouted the full knowledge, but you do want full knowledge um, on, on this guy here so you can just go back and have a look at maybe you find something uh actually he won't be too bad he's a pretty decent fee he's he's a little bit older for what i like um but yeah also if he's had a couple of assignments in the in the you know recent recent past um you can have a look at uh what kind of fil you can filter by the assignment basically so if there's a couple of different things general focus uh, or so this brings out a couple of or a couple of different players so there might be a couple of players missing there um they can kind of have a look at um last but not least what we want to do is have a look at uh the play in the player search and have a look at our knowledge so we can see here this i might just shall i wipe this yeah let's wipe it so I just wipe my filters there um so this is just Player search, there's no filters, there's nothing there in place. Um, at the moment, we can see 43,000 players. So with that, that'll that's our overall knowledge of uh, you know different countries and different leagues and all that. Um, and also our, our packages. So our packages came in a couple of years ago, same type of thing. So there's different packages there. Um, depending on which package you choose, that will increase. So at the moment, we've got Europe. Um, it's 44. 4,000. If we have a look and increase that, yes, that's fine. And then we'll come back and see. Oh, it's going to calculate. So what well, we got? Nearly 10,000 more players. Um, so in certain scenarios, that's going to be a big, big boost of numbers. With a lot of a lot of clubs, like um, a lower league club, or maybe. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be particularly low league, but maybe in a country that's not England, their knowledge level for, of the world is not very high. So knowledge level for Man United is a 37, which is quite high. Um, so that already gave me a big starting number. But once you increase the packages, yeah, it does cost you a little bit more, but it does open up a lot more, um, a lot more players just with those packages. So with the knowledge levels, um, what I have read uh, before is you can you can increase your knowledge in certain countries, uh, but it'll never quite give you the the number of players that it does um, in what we're just talking about, which is those um, those packages. So to increase the packages, that'll give you a greater number of of players in your search uh, rather than your just overall knowledge. So, but you know, always good to increase your knowledge. So basically, to increase your knowledge in um, in different countries is to Sign scouts that will have uh, knowledge in those certain countries. So if we have a look at a couple of our scouts, um, let's go back to staff, uh, recruitment team. So if we have a look at, say, for example, this guy. So, so he's from Germany. He's got some knowledge in Germany, a little bit in Austria, Sw uh, Switzerland, Poland, and so on and so forth. Not much knowledge in the other countries. Um, but if you can have a look at scouts that have higher knowledge in certain countries that you're not quite ticking off the box in your knowledge um, that will give you then greater knowledge the other way is to when you're setting up assignments maybe to send those scouts to those uh, to those countries which, which you haven't got knowledge um, to bring up your knowledge and therefore you'll get once again a greater database of players to look at all right guys that's it for me hope you enjoyed the video and hope you looking forward to more tips and tricks uh, videos coming up in the near future i'm also looking to bring in uh two minute tips so tip videos that are quite small and minute, maybe some of the tips you might even see in this video that I can just narrow it down uh, to just bring you bite-sized kind of tips because I do realize that a 25-minute video might not be consumed very well, um, uh, you know, switch side on that to a two-minute video. So a lot of people might watch the whole minute, a you know, whole two or five-minute video that won't quite stick around for 25 minutes, which is understandable. And look, to be honest, it's probably, you know, sometimes it's similar to what I do. Um, so yeah, hope you are looking forward to that because I am um, and hope you have a good day. All right, catch you.